Hey guys, welcome back. Dirk here. Today we've got another uh, knife from Big Knives. I did a video recently on the Dragon Lady Bodega that um, I have. This is one of 20 that were made in this configuration. And as I became really good friends with Mark Big, who runs Big Knives California Custom Shop, Todd's brother, I started talking to him about making me the Bodega's big brother, the Bagatti, uh, to match my Dragon Lady Bodega. We'll dive right into the specs. This is just literally the same footprint as the Bodega in overall footprint. It's just thicker. So we'll run through the specs really quick and then I'll talk about the story of the knife once we get through the specs. So it's 5.125 inches long, uh, closed. Overall is 8.875, blade length of three and three quarters with an edge length of 3.8. The blade thickness is a quarter inch, 0 0.250. The blade steel on this one, <laughs> I don't remember if it's either, it's, it's likely RW34 or XHP with a DLC coating. This one weighs in at 10.1 ounces, whereas the Bodega weighs in at seven. The overall thickness of this one minus the clip is 0.72. Now the overall thickness on the Bodega is 0.52. So again, just a bit thicker on this one. It's got the same exact blue anodizing of the titanium, the same exact cracked ice or jeweled ice on the pivot collar, same engravings all the way around, same jeweled ice, cracked ice, uh, black DLC coated pocket clip, IKBS ceramic bearings on both. It's just a bit thicker. So this, the, the Bagatti doesn't have that jeweled ice finish on the DLC coated blade where the Bodega does on the right. The other minor difference, which is hard to tell here, is, and I didn't bring a flashlight over here, um, this on the inside of these scales is engine turn, engine turning, and on the inside of this one, there is none of that. All they have is they have the cracked ice, jeweled ice, cracked ice finish on the backspacer. They did engrave one of one inside for me, but the inside of the scales is just smooth anodized. You know, it's still milled out for weight savings and whatnot but it doesn't have the engine turning like the lock bar cutout does, which is fine. But all in all, it is the exact same as the Bodega. Now the Bugatti, you can see the blade is slightly different grind. It has more of a compound grind and it has the double flutes with the holes. And the swedge on top is a little bit different just because of the style of the blade. So in talking to Mark, I literally talked to him, I don't know, it took me three months maybe to talk him into making me a Bogatti uh, that matched the Bodega. And he really didn't want to do the black blade. It's the only Bogatti that has the black DLC coated blade. And I was like, if we can't do the black blade, then it's not worth doing. Um, it was kind of a fun process because I live in Napa close to the shop So I was able to go down while they were building it and um, Kind of put together the build sheet that kind of followed the parts around the shop, which was kind of neat to see um, I'll see if I can find some pictures of the the build process that I have when I was down there seeing the raw parts uh, talking with Ben the guy the the maker who actually did most of the putting together um, when I went down to pick it up, 
they couldn't remember because some of the bodegas that they made had silver clips. Some had the black clips. When this one was put together, they put a silver clip on and they weren't sure if mine had the black clip or the silver clip. So they had one ready. I went down to pick it up. I carried this one so that I could compare and we could have some fun with it, take some pictures. They saw that it was the black clip, so they sent this back to the shop real quick and they changed it out for the black clip that they had already prepared and ready to go. So I do have the silver clip over in a drawer with the box and all of this good stuff that comes with it. But again, these, the fit and finish is incredible. And yes, this is a one of one knife. And yes, I've used it. There's some marks on the blade already um, because I carry it and I use it. I use and carry pretty much every single knife that I own. Um, do I do a lot of hard use with something like this? No. If I'm going out camping, I'm not going to take this one. If I'm going to a knife event or a barbecue or something like that, then I might bring this because I might want to show this to the folks. It, it all depends. I mean, when I go to the office, I may carry this in my office. This is where I did carry it a lot before. The action is super smooth on the bearings and it fires every time. The weight of that blade is just, yeah. The blade itself has some weight and heft to it, so that's what really helps it fire and close. I just love the lines of this. And, you know, it's very, same on the bodega. That's what I really like about it, is this line, the little ramp here for your thumb, the jimping on the side, the choil is great. It does detract some of the cutting edge, but it is a fantastically fitting choil for your finger. It's just, it's just great. I can't say enough good stuff about this, and I am so happy to have had Mark and Mattia and Ben and the rest of the guys in the shop put this together for me and just spend the time and the energy and the attention to every detail on this for me. It was, this, this set is truly my favorite set in my collection. You know, you never say never, I would never sell this, I would never sell that. I, I, I try not to say that because I've seen it happen where people say I'm never selling this knife, that knife, this weapon, this car, this whatever, and, and things happen. Five years down the road, life changes. You may sell something that you didn't intend to sell originally. So I'm not going to say I'm never going to sell, but these ones would probably be some of the last things I would sell. Um, these ones are going for, you know, 2800 bucks because there are some online, so I can talk about that one. This one, you know, to me it's priceless. No sense in talking about the price because you can't really go get one. So no sense in even talking about it, but we'll just say that since this is the only pair of the world that are like this, it's a priceless pair to me. And the stories behind it and the friendships I've made working with the shop in commissioning this piece and waiting and waiting, you know, it took a while. The DLC coating they ship out, they send that out and the concern was sometimes the DLC coating doesn't work. And if they had to, you know, if there was a problem with the coating, they didn't have a lot of these blades left because this is kind of an end of, you know, discontinued model. They have a few blades left still today, but they didn't want to send out a bunch and have it not work. Uh, and then they didn't want to give me a two-tone blade. Whereas if it doesn't work, they can grind off the DLC coating on the, you know, the curved and the ground parts and then just leave the black on the flats. I didn't want that because it wouldn't have matched. So we got lucky. We sent one blade out for coating and the one blade worked and it came together like a champ. So anyway, I thought I would share this one with you guys today. Um, 
to tell you just, you know, what they can do over there. And what the, the beauty of knife collecting is there's something for everybody. And you can work with somebody and have them make what you want. So anyway, let me know what you think of the Bugatti. Let me know what you think of the Bodega. And I will put a link to the Bodega video down in the description below as well. And uh, there you have it. I appreciate you watching for sure and listening to me ramble about uh, the story of the, the Bugatti. So thanks a lot, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, we will talk to you next time. Thanks a lot.